What's going on everybody on YouTube Griffin here coming back to you guys with another video from the Millennial Motivation Entrepreneur YouTube channel. First and foremost, if you're tuning in for the first time and looking to join an awesome community of like-minded people looking to make some money in the stock market, uh, we talk about Robinhood, TD Ameritrade, trading options, day trading, swing trading, any type of trading at the end of the day we talk about here. Um, we have over 550 of us. We have a Discord group chat that's down in the description box with a little over 60 members in there now. Uh, just a good little community of people to jump ideas off one another so if you're into that thing definitely consider subscribing checking out that group chat but we'll hop right into the video guys um this is more for people that are just getting started trading looking at different platforms um td ameritrade's think or swim tends to be one of the most easiest ones to really understand and that a lot of traders use when getting started i still use td ameritrade think or swim it's very easy i like it because not only is it pretty easy to understand but they also have a paper trading platform that i always suggest to new traders that don't want to risk money starting out maybe you want to dip your toes in the options market futures uh, any type of market you can do pretty much any kind of trading within that paper trading account <clears throat> So I just like the fact that it's easy to kind of have a two in one, have the best of both worlds kind of thing. As for actually trading, I don't really suggest TD Ameritrade personally just because their fees are a lot higher. You can go to places like Tastyworks, um, Charles Schwab even as well, uh, TradeStation. There's plenty of platforms that have a little bit cheaper rates than TD Ameritrade, but that's a different topic for a different day. Uh, but today's video, we're just going to kind of go over how to set up, how to go about getting the different studies, level two quote, uh, quotes, all that good stuff on your thinkorswim platform. Because it's kind of going to look something similar to this when you first load it up. It'll look slightly different. It'll show kind of a home page, a generic home page where it'll, it'll have different kinds of things up like Trader TV and all this other stuff you don't really need. Uh, that sidebar we're not really going to worry too much about but with the sidebar you can insert watch list and whatnot um, but to overall get your chart set up what you're going to want to do you're going to be using this main tab so you can see the monitor that's more of your trade activity account statement all that good stuff um, trade is obviously where you would come in and um, I guess place some trades I haven't actually used it obviously because I use Robinhood currently um, and there's analyze there's scan where you can set up your own scanner uh, market watch and then charts charts is where you're going to go over to get started so you can see um, for some reason my charts not trying to load up currently um, because I don't have it pulled up so whenever you first pull up the charts tab it's been so long since I've not had anything pulled up it confused me as well so like when you first pull it up you're gonna have charts and then you're gonna have this thing called flexible grid and flexible grid as you can see you can pretty much put on like I think you can put up to like six stocks on here um, I only use four. I kind of use whatever I'm mainly trading at the time in this one up here. Um, I actually need to move SPY up here and put oil down here. But anything that I've kind of been trading recently is going to be on these, so to speak. <clears throat> but where you're really going to spend the majority of your time is just in the main charts tab. And then what you're going to want to do is come over to the sidebar over here. And then you'll click chart. Boom. Your chart will pop up. <clears throat> At first, all it's going to do is it's going to really just pop up the candlesticks. You're not going to have this EMA line, this SMA line, RSI, MACD, any of that stuff. And I'll talk about the studies here in a second. Um, for level two quotes, very simple. Boom. Right there. It'll pop up right there. You'll see the price action going on. Uh, I also pull up the live news pretty frequently. I keep it pulled up quite a lot, actually, just because you never know essentially when something's going to be coming out that could affect the market. Um it tends to be slightly late, but it's more of something I look at in the mornings and whatnot if there's something overnight that I might have missed. <clears throat> and then, of course, there's a whole bunch of other things. You have your active trader where if you're actually trading and you might want to get in and out or something, you can go ahead and buy a certain amount of stock or whatever. Um, <clears throat> and then your time in sales, I was just going to say when you got filled, how much your average buy costs, all that good stuff. And then obviously just simple trade you could do it this way as well um, now as for the studies we'll just hop right into the study so studies is going to be right up here it kind of looks like a time glass almost and you'll see it says edit study so you'll go right there and that is where you literally put in all of your studies you can go over to the search bar it's super easy if you want to copy the ones I essentially have you can you can go ahead pause it take a screenshot whatever you want 
I use the simple moving average SMA. Um, I have it set at 180 and to change any of these, all you have to do is go into the settings tab and you can see my length is at 180. You can change it to whatever color. I mean, you can do a whole lot of stuff in here. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple once you just get going with it. Display CMA also have set at 12. Um, that's what's this blue line right here. And then we have our RSI. I didn't mess with it at all. I didn't mess with the MACD as well. Um, but like I said, I mean, super easy to find. All you've got to do, like, you don't even have to type in simple moving average. You can just type in, um, I believe, just SMA. Um, or at least I thought you could. Maybe it won't pop up because I already have it pulled up. Yeah. Or, yeah, there it goes. So I guess you do have to type in simple moving average to get that. Uh, you might have to do that as well. Yeah, displace DMA. That's the one you're going to want. Um, and then RSI, you can see it pops up real quick, number one. And then uh, the MACD as well. You can see MACD right there. Histogram, don't really need it. Just MACD is all you really need. Um, but yeah, like I said, very simple. And then once you get done, you can hit, you're can. you going to want to make sure you hit apply first. Or obviously it's not going to save. Um, or at least I don't think it's going to save. I haven't ever tried it. So I just make sure I always hit apply before I exit. <clears throat> But then, yeah, then your screen's going to look very similar to mine. It should look exactly like mine at this point. Um, and then, obviously, you're going to have your SMA. Um, it's going to look a little different chart by chart, obviously, the one day, one minute. If you go out to the 180 day, you're going to see it's not going to look 100% the same. It's going to be very, very close, though, obviously, your SMA line, EMA, all that good stuff. Um, <clears throat> now when it comes to reading these charts, like I'll probably do a whole separate video on this. The charts that I tend to use the most for my style of trading, I start out with our 180 day chart. Um, and then from there, I love using the one hour chart as well, especially for like crude oil, SPY. Um, I love using the hourly chart, especially for any type of like a swing trade option or some, some, some kind of option I plan on holding for a couple days. You guys know I really don't do that too much anymore, but when I'm whenever I'm swing trading or something, the hourly chart is something I really like to use for our RSI for whenever I start to see something's oversold, overbought, etc. It kind of gives you a very, very good glimpse on where the market's gonna go over the next at the minimum day or two. So, and then from there we do our one minute chart, which is what we do for our day trades, of course. So other than that, um, I don't know if there's anything else that's like super important. You can adjust the style of your time frame. That's another thing I would suggest to do um, because, for example, look at our pull up our 180 day chart. See how I have a little bit of room out here? That's just a preference of mine. I don't like having my chart all the way up to the edge. So, what you do to kind of give yourself a little bit of wiggle room, you just go to time frame setup. <clears throat> um, actually, this isn't it. How do I, I actually want to show you guys that because um, that's actually pretty important. I forgot how. I thought it was under time frame setup, but maybe I was wrong. Set chart to default. Um, that's not what we want. Chart mode, standard chart type. So chart type, that's where if you're someone that prefers like bars or lines for some reason, I mean, you can go in here and adjust it. I personally like the candle. Um, that's just me. But... There should be something in here settings maybe so yeah you'll go into your settings and then you'll go into the time axis and you can see I have my expansion area set as 90 bars to the right so what that means is 90 if you count all these out it's gonna be 90 bars extra off to the right so again because it can't so again because it can be very confusing obviously I, I even forgot it took me a second there to find it what you do you go back into style time frame set, or not time frame setup style settings and then you're going to go over to time axis and then that's where you'll be able to edit it very quickly and then of course do not forget to hit apply um, there's so many different things you can do like set up your favorite time frames uh, your appearance where you can fill up or don't fill up I personally like to fill up but some people don't um, so I mean like I said you can get very very personal with your charts and everything like that so i mean that's most of the reasons why i like using the td ameritrade thinkorswim platform and i mean by the way it's free i mean i know most um companies anymore offer like a free platform as well but i i just think td ameritrade is one of the best it does glitch at times but i mean 
compared to some other platforms I use, it's like far in between. I, I mean, I only have glitches more so with the phone app, and that's usually because of my own cell phone signal. So, hopefully this is a good little informative video for those of you, especially those of you that are like super new to trading and looking to get into the TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim platform and trying to figure out how to go about setting up your studies and everything like that. Like I said, it's very simple. I mean, you just go in there and then you just type in exactly what you want. Boom, it pops up. You can probably do this in, I would say, five minutes, 10 at the most, if you're just literally starting from scratch and just kind of confused about it all. But like I said, um, if you want, you can stop the video, screenshot mine, see where I have it, price, lower lower volume is empty um but yeah i mean that's pretty much it hopefully you guys did enjoy the video if you did definitely make sure to smash that like button i greatly appreciate that can't thank you guys enough for all the support you've given the channel over the last year or so and like i said if you're new to the channel and you're still watching definitely consider hitting the subscribe button below we go live almost every single day saturday is when we tend to have our um our informative video where i come out with some kind of a teaching type of lesson just from my experiences stuff that I think newer traders might appreciate um, But we go live just about every single day other than that So if you're into that like I said definitely consider subscribing and checking out our discord group chat That's down in the in the description box But until next time guys keep on going out there making your profits covering your profits and achieving some financial freedom this year And I will see you guys tomorrow for Sunday stock watch, but until then take it easy guys